Hi everybody, it's Debbie back with Scrap for Therapy. Uh, another short little video here. I wanted to show you um, the way I've organized what I'm going to use in my December daily. I just posted that. But I also wanted to show you, I had participated in the Traveler's Notebook Junk Journal um, swap on Junk Journal Junkies. And this is the album that I received from my partner who was Carrie. And I just wanted to show you just quickly this, whoops, got caught on here. There we go. It's just gorgeous. Um, it's one of those things I think you have to see in person to get the full effect, but it has a lovely little dangle. And then it's just the paper. Everything she did is just gorgeous. It has so much detail. So I will be using this this year, just not as my December daily. I will be using this um, more in lines with a gratitude journal um, and just specific, more of kind of a spiritual gratitude type of book. Um, I do keep a prayer journal, uh, but... I will be using this for December. So it's just gorgeous. There's so much to it. Um, I would need to do its own video, but I did want to at least um, show it and acknowledge it. I love this paper, so cute. And um, there's just little doodads and jewels and charms and flashy things and silver and gold and sparkles and who doesn't love sparkles and little ah, shaker where are we there we go a shaker tag so it's just super cheerful and festive it's just gorgeous so if you've never participated in a swap on junk journal junkies i highly suggest it it is super fun um, to create for other people and also to get to see other people's work and get a sample of it so what i'm doing in my december daily Every year I take out way too much stuff and overwhelm my stuff self. <laughs> so this year I just have a simple box that I made. Um, I didn't make the box, but I just cut it. And in here I just keep all my stickers. These are all holiday Christmassy stickers. They're arranged by height so I can flip through and find them. Um, I just have to show you this. I got this years and years ago. It's Victorian. Santa's um, still has some and they're still sticky if you can believe that um, so I just I have this next to me um, just ready to go and then I will show you what's in here I don't know if I can capture this I have this bin this basket and I just have a couple of things filed in so I'll pull them out and show you I have this pouch which has tags that I have either already made or received as gifts um, that I can just stick in there. Some of them are pre-made, some of them I made. Um, this one actually came from Carrie, which she made, which I will be using in my December daily. Um, pouches and pockets for journaling. Um, this came in a kit that I bought from Catherine. She went by Catherine Scraps at the time. Um, and I didn't use them in the album that I made, so I have them to be used here. Recycling. Um, these are just envelope pockets. Um, different journaling tags and things that have been stamped. So those are ready to be used here. Just the stamps I'm going to use. Not all the stamps I own that are holiday related, but the ones that I'm interested in using this year. So a couple of my old close to my hearts and embossing Technique Tuesday, which is one of my favorite stamp brands. And then um, an old, I always get a lot of use out of this old Fiskars one. So there is that that lives in here. Um, fabric and ribbon pieces, for lack of a better word. Um, let's see here, washi tape rolls, and these all just live in this little thing, um, some buntings, some brads, 
a few six by six pads in case I want to embellish with them. These are all stuff in my stash. I did not buy anything um, new. Again, this is some wood veneers, a little felt piece. All these things have been hanging around a while. And then these are, this is a bag that is particular um, ephemera and papers that I know that I want to use for sure. So this is kind of out all the time or will be. And then these are just paper scraps. And again, when you're when I'm working in my December daily, I it's already the pages are done, so I don't need anything big. These literally are all just scraps. Some of these are scraps from the journal itself. Some are just scraps that I have collected over time. And then this is in and of itself overwhelming. These are all the darned die cuts. So there's all kinds. I don't know if I'll go through and organize them or just leave them. There's literally a bazillion. Um, these are all the little ones. These are bigger cards, three by four, four by six, and they are somewhat mixed in terms of style. So I have kind of my old fashion style, which could go in my December daily, but it's kind of more, I don't know, it's a little different. These would work in there. So these are just all four by six, four by six, three by four, and just various size. That's an old close to my heart um, collection. And so there you have it. Other than my always at the ready things like ink, scissors, glue, punches. Those kind of just live on my desk because I use them all the time. This is what will be out for the December daily. So thanks for watching. I hope um, maybe this helps someone. I know that just as the years have gone by, I've kind of gotten more and more and more fine tuned just because I tend to um, overwhelm myself with the choices. And then I end up just doing kind of the same thing I always do anyway. So um, there you have it. It doesn't take up too much space. It lives on the right next to me, the side of my table. It, I don't even know how big it is. I think this is like 15 by, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, let's see, six or eight. I want to say eight. Let's see. Yeah, it's got to be about eight because six by six pad would fit going that way. So there you have it. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye-bye.